Hello everyone, welcome to, to this home economics class. Today's topic shall be fundamental human rights. What is fundamental human right? Fundamental right of every person and the legal entitlement of each one of us. These are the fundamental rights that are written in the constitution of Federal Republic of every nation, not only Nigeria chapter, but for Nigeria it is written in chapter 4, section 33 for 3, page 18 to 26. This right includes right to life, right to dignity of human person. No one shall, for instance, be subjected to human treatment, to, to inhuman treatment, right to fear hearing, right to private and family life. You have the right to freedom of thought, conscience and religion. Then right to freedom of expression and the press, right to peaceful assembly and association. You have right to freedom of movement, right to freedom of discrimination, right to own human property anywhere in Nigeria. So every country all over the world have their fundamental human rights that are written in their constitution. Then right of a woman in a country for in Nigeria for example and other parts of the world a child is anyone who is under 18 years who is 18 years and below so i think this i think this is supposed to be right of a child that's a typographical error anyway so right of a child so right of a child a child has right to life a child has right to survive in any part of the world whether nigeria or any other country a child has a right to develop the right of a woman right of women women and men are entitled to all the fundamental human rights number one is right to work right to the same employment opportunity as men women has right to free choice of profession and employment women have right to promotion job security and all benefits and conditions of services then the right to family benefits these are fundamental right of every woman so what when can you say right is violated so this brings us to violation of human rights. The existence of the rights of individuals does not always guarantee that a person's rights will not will be protected, that is, will not be violated. There are times and situations when rights are violated. So, when do you see violation occurs? For instance, a person that is denied is or a right. For instance, when a child is not allowed to go to school, by parents or some other persons will say the child's right to education has been violated when a child is abused that child has been violated and when a person is prevented from enjoying his or her right you can say that right has been violated and when a person does not know his or her right and therefore cannot enjoy it so in such situations you say that those rights are violated so I think this is the end of today's class. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and press the notification button so that when we drop the next video, you will be notified. Thank you so much and God bless you. Amen.